Hello and welcome back to the Royal Australian Mint School Tour. Today we're somewhere really, really special. We're actually in our factory. This is our circulating coin hall, where we make all the coins in your pockets, in your wallets, and down the back of your couches. It's really, really important that we say stay safe in here, which is why I'm wearing my really attractive high vis, and I also have earplugs in. The very first part of our circulating coin process is happening just behind me here. This is Titan, the big orange fella that kind of looks like a claw. Titan weighs 4.6 tonnes and he can lift up to one tonne. It's his job to lift up all the big barrels and to pour them into either the left-hand blue blank hopper or the right-hand minted coin hopper. He starts the whole process by pouring the blanks into the blank hopper where they travel through what we call the vision counting system. Then they travel up the bucket elevator and into the ceiling. Hello, didn't see you there. These are all the presses that we have at the Royal Australian Mint. We actually have 13 different presses that help us to strike all our coins. We have 11 vertical presses, which press down, strike the coins like this, and we have two horizontal that strike the coins like this. Now these machines, strike these coins on average with 100 tonnes of pressure, which is the equivalent to 100 rhinos stamping down on your coins. They also make, on average, 650 coins a minute, which is really quite fast. They're fed by the big tubes in the ceiling, which drop the blanks down. They then go through the striking process before the coins travel up a conveyor belt and fall back down into their barrels. And that's where Penny comes into play. Penny is an AGV, or an automated guided vehicle. She's basically a forklift without a driver, and she can lift twice as much as Titan can. This makes her the dictionary definition of a strong, independent lady, and she is my favorite robot. It's Penny's job to go to and from storage, to and from the lift, and to and from Titan. So she'll go get those barrels from out the back of the presses once all those coins have been struck, then she'll take them back to Titan and place them on the yellow platform down in front of him. Here's your yellow platform. Penny places the coins, the minted coins, on top of this platform. Titan then picks them up and does another pour into this minted coin hopper. They then filter down and they go through this machine. This is our weighing, packing and counting system. It's basically a circuit. The coins go through a first circuit and they fall down into little plastic bags. They're sealed and then they go through a secondary circuit where they then fall down into large plastic bags. Once the coins have been bagged and tagged and sealed, we have to pack them. But we do have a special robot for that. This is Robbie. Robbie lives in a cage. Robbie's entire life's purpose is to suck up a bag full of coins, turn a little bit and put it into a box for us. He's basically a vacuum cleaner with a job. Once Robbie's filled up an entire box, it travels along a conveyor belt and then it's shrink-wrapped by a big blue machine behind Titan. From there, it's sent off to all the banks. So the coins in this room eventually end up in your pockets, in your wallets and down the back of your couches. Thank you so much for joining us today in our circulating coin hall. Join us next time as we head into our tool room and we learn all about how we make our dies.